everybody how are you today my name is Melanie um, welcome to my channel thanks for tuning in today I have a candle haul we went to um, a cheerful giver so if you're not familiar with a cheerful giver they are a candle company who sells a lot of wholesale you, you'll find them in gift shops um, they have their own website obviously online um, you can get them from Amazon so they are located in Elmer, New Jersey, and they have two lines of candles. Um, the brand is called The Cheerful Giver, and they have cheerful candles, which are a jar candle. And, well, obviously a jar, but, you know, this kind of apothecary jar. And then they're Keepers of the Light candle, which is this kind of apothecary jar. They're uh, paraffin wax. And so what I really love about this company, I mean, I love their candles. I love, I love everything about them. I've been burning these candles for, oh gosh, probably, ooh, I'm going to say upwards of maybe five, six years, constantly burning these candles for five, six years. Um, Boscov's always has great deals on them. Um, this is the Keepers of the Light lid. It's not a tight fitting lid, but don't worry about it. They stay they stay good for so long and you're not going to have it that long. I believe the large Keepers of the Light jars will burn for 155 hours and it is a two wick paraffin candle. Um, so the cool part about this company is that all of their wicking is done by special needs adults. So, um, they're, they partner with a partnership of, I don't even remember the name of the company, I think out of Egg Harbor City, who, um, who the special needs adults partner with, and they can work as much as they want, and, and, uh, they do all the wicking for them. So, I think that's really awesome. Um, so anyway, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles. My husband and I went to the, uh, factory slash uh store um this last weekend and we had gone there four years ago and he let me pick out anything i wanted for christmas and he got one little thing too so i'm gonna uh go over the scents with you and tell you what i think of them um one is a repurchase actually two two are repurchases for me one of them i get every year and we may as well start with that one and that is what i have in my hand bayberry all right so this is a backup of this Bayberry that I have currently. So let's get into Bayberry. So I'm going to show you first off, I haven't cleaned this jar at all. This is a two wick paraffin wax. So what I have noticed as of recently is they did change their wax wicks. Um, they used to have these uh, self trimming wicks, which I thought were really awesome. But every now and then you would get one that didn't stay lit and half of the jar would not pull out correctly. So they've changed their wicks now to this uh, wick that you do have to trim, but it doesn't get big mushroom tops. So I'm happy with it. The burn is great. Throw is great. Oh my goodness. This Bayberry is so good, guys. This is just an old fashioned Bayberry candle. And I have the scent notes right here. I printed out all the notes on a piece of paper. Okay, so Bayberry is rustic Bayberry layered with balsam fir and hints of nutmeg and spice. This is a warm, oh goodness, it, this is so beautiful. This is, if I had to recommend one candle from this company, it would be Bayberry. This isn't their best seller, and I do have their best seller here, Juicy Apple, but I love Bayberry. This is just old-fashioned a, a wonderful bayberry it's rich it's deep you're gonna notice one thing about their candles is i mean this burns for a really long time what i say i think it's 155 hours for this this is a papa size there's a size down from this it's a mama size which is the same diameter approximately and then they have a baby one which is a little tiny one and you'll see that's what my husband wanted to pick out for his office but anyway, you'll notice that as you burn this farther down, the scent changes and it gets like a deeper, more resinous smell to it. Oh, lovely, lovely. I got this Bayberry um, this season and I'm already halfway through it and I probably will finish it off because like it goes with everything. Everything Christmas time this goes with. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Can't say enough about Bayberry. Um, if you want one, like, tomorrow, you could go on Amazon and look up a Cheerful Giver Bayberry, and you could probably have one tomorrow. Let's see what it says on the bottom. 
I have, um, this one was an older one. I bought this at a store by me. And um, you could see the date on this was from uh, 2020, 11 of 2020. But still, this was an older one. Um, my newer one is a newer pour. I picked one of the ones with the plastic on the lid because actually I'll probably bring this down to our Tennessee house. Um, this says 11, 18, 22. Wow, so this is like a super fresh pour. They have, look, they have these cute little ribbons on them, an adorable hang tag. When you order from the company, when you order from a cheerful giver online, um, you can pick out your lid color too. They have a copper lid or this black lid. I believe you, I hope, hopefully you still can. You used to be able to. I know that I haven't checked their website in a while, but how pretty is that? And let me tell you, when these are burning, there is no prettier candle that you can see. The way the light bounces off of this glass, it is so gorgeous. The wax pool is deep. It is the prettiest, prettiest, prettiest candle by far. Any of them. Okay, so that was Bayberry, my very favorite from the company, hands down, so far that I've tried. Who knows, maybe one of these will be uh, a winner. So I love Bayberry, and Boscov's is where you get the best deals on them, but they don't have Bayberry. In fact, Boscov's didn't have any of these that I got. Um, so... Oh, well, on that. All right, let's check out a next. The next one um, is Aspen Berry. So I've already burned this. I can tell you the throw on this is amazing. I am so into berry pine scents lately. So you can see the wax pool. We got a nice clean burn going on. Like maybe a teeny bit of mushroom tops. Oh, guys, this is so good. This is a juicy, juicy berry. Um, the scent notes are crisp. Cranberry, citrus, woodsy, birch with a hint of vanilla, musk, tonka, and cedar. Sorry, I cut off my own letters when I printed it. So good. Mmm. Oh, goodness. To me, this is just a, a berry rich evergreen. This is beautiful. Beautiful. This, I can tell you what, this is going to be a staple in my home. Never had it before, but... Oh, this won't, this won't be the last time. I love just the sweetness. And the two of these together would be phenomenal. Phenomenal. All right. Let's see who do we have next. Let's do the... So I I prefer the, uh, the Keepers of the Light jars, but they didn't have it in this scent. So I went for a cheerful candle kind. And you know what? This picture is very pretty, and I'll probably enjoy it. I just, you know what? I've always been partial to that. Um, oh my goodness. So I got this for, I love these like fresh, clean, snowy scents in January. So this is Winter Wonderland and it is, where is it? Oh, Winter Wonderland is notes of winter air, iced fur, and frozen lakes with the whisper of citrus, cedar, and musk. So this is, mmm, cool somewhat fresh i mean not like like clear your nostrils in your face fresh but fresh and the cedar and the musk make it warm so it's kind of like a winter warm fresh a little bit citrus it's a beautiful scent really nice really nice i'm so gonna enjoy this in january all right let's see what's next oh this i kept going back for and going back for and going back for it's called Vintage Cottage. First off, the name is adorable. But the color of wax was so interesting to me. This, like, I don't know, like, cornflower, bluish, bluish uh, gray. Oh, my goodness. This is so interesting. I've never smelled a candle that smelled like this. It's so interesting. Very hard for me to explain, too, except for very pretty. So let me give you the scent notes so you know what the heck I'm talking about here. Um... This is, well, did I forget to put this on here? Nope, okay. App, no, that's not it. Alrighty. Well, I did not put that on here. All right, hold on for a sec. Let me look up the scent notes. Okay, so I looked it up and it says, a delicate blend of applewood and a touch of eucalyptus. So, I'm not sure what applewood is. I guess it's mm, a warm, it, it does have a slight apple scent. Gosh, I, I couldn't even explain this to you, except it's so pretty. Like, 
this this is just a gorgeous gorgeous scent i guess apple and wood and eucalyptus now the eucalyptus is not nose clearing but it makes it it makes it um fresh but then the apple wood is warmth so like it's it's totally neutral and that the apple wood negates the eucalyptus and makes it like a warm fresh pretty scent this is so gorgeous, so gorgeous. I, I love this one at the store. I kept just going back to it and I'm like, my husband was like, hmm, he wasn't that crazy about it. And I kept, I was trying to give him, you know, like a say in it, but really after like he smells pork candles, he's done. Man, that's so pretty. I can't wait to burn this. I haven't burned this one yet. I'm kind of focusing on the Christmas ones. All right, the next one is nutmeg and spice. What would I do? I tore the label a little bit. Oh my goodness. I burned this yesterday. Oh, this is so, so good. Scrumptious. All right. The scent notes of nutmeg and spice are fire roasted almonds covered with spicy clove and warm wintry nutmeg. Nutmeg driven. If you like spiced gingerbread by Bath and Body Works, you'll like this. If you like cozy chai by Scentsy or uh, pumpkin chai, you'll love this. Oh, it's nutmeg creamy, mm, warm, gourmand. The spices aren't like like heavy in your face kind of cinnamon. Though I'm probably, you know what, I'm probably not the best person to ask about that because I love spice. So like if you're spice, I'm not a spice sensitive person. So take what I say about spice with a grain of salt. But man, oh, this is so good. So good. Warm cozy it was such a treat to go to the uh to the factory store and just sniff all of these and like get to sniff them all this one i you know what my husband really liked this this is italian leather and i got them right off the uh shelf with the bags on the lids because i am going to bring some of these to tennessee this is such an interesting scent this is not like weathered leather from scentsy this is not a barnyard leather this is a almost like a perfumey leather. And if you said, you know what, I guess it's leather, but it doesn't, this is just, it's a very sophisticated scent. This is very, very, it's sophisticated and pretty and definitely a little bit on the perfumey side. Raw, refined, artisanal leather tanned with earthy tones of jasmine, patchouli, and musk. So yeah, I do get the little bit of musky and maybe patchouli. And the jasmine brightens it up and makes it like a little bit, um, a little bit floral. This is such a pretty scent. Very unique. Super unique. Um, I really, really like this. I thought this, this would be so pretty in like the den and it just smell, it just smells so beautiful. I wouldn't say this is a warm weather or a cool weather candle. It's all year round. I could see this burning in the summertime and the, in the winter for a little bit cozy lovely 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 candle he really liked this too he liked this um possibly for his office but i'll show you what he did get for his office eh, kind of funny all right so we have one left and i did not um he got the baby jar and i don't know why he got this baby jar like this so this is juicy apple this you could get all day long from boscov super cheap this is their number one scent um, this is the first scent I had by them, but he just want he wanted the little tiny baby jar, the little baby one for his office to put on his hatch. So whatever he was paying, let him get what he wants. Even though we could get like this same exact thing for probably the same price in like almost the giant jar, but whatever. So Juicy Apple is, um, I don't have the scent notes here, but it is a deep uh, red apple that, oh, that it almost goes on the... Um, on the fermented side especially the more it burns the more kind of it smells fermented it's wonderful it's their most it's their uh, most popular candle i've had a million of these i don't have any right now actually because i kind of like i almost burnt myself out on it and now i'm kind of like as you know i like apple september october going into november i'm kind of like over apple scents right now and um I like going into the more fresh stuff now, but I, you know, I did get that nutmeg one because I just love that candle. Oh, it's so good. Um, but yeah, so um, that's my haul. Uh, I got a lot of candles um, that's going to take me forever to burn these, but that's okay because they, you know, they're paraffin wax, so they last, not only do they last 155 years, but they last on the shelf 
for what seems like forever. Um, I love this brand. If you have any questions about it, have you ever got Cheerful Giver before? Do you love them too? Did um, you have any problems with them? Um, what's your thoughts? Uh, chime in. So thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day. Um, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.